medley. Make haste. I am impatient to wait upon the lovely... My impatience toward my dear friend was due to the fact that the lovely Emilia, in whose direction my passions were presently pointed, was also being wooed this very day by one Sir Fopling Flutter, a debauched, ridiculous fool recently returned from France. En route to the wooing, an opportunity was to present itself in the form of a rogue. So I devised a stratagem, enlisting the service of this foreigner. For a pouch of gold, he would shame Sir Fopling, forcing a battle at arms. I, intervening, would better the foreigner, rescue Sir Fopling, and win, without wooing, the delicate Emilia. All began as planned. Fopling fluttered for Lady Townley and Amelia, the foreigner slandered the fop, and I awaited my entrance. But perhaps I overplayed my part. Prithee, began. <coughs> Withdraw your weapon, fop. I'm a monster gaping for thy ruin. Ah! Enough! Je suis désarme. You approve the master, yet, happily, anger improves the complexion. <laughs> Have you not left off your impudent pretensions? Pray, spare me! I'll give up me all, anything. Pray! <laughs> Reconcile thee to virtue. Be gone, and think upon thy saviour. We shall meet again. Florimond, you have set the world no example. I applaud your courage and your notably modern leniency. My deepest gratitude. A beastly affair. I am glad, however, of any occasion to publish our true devotion to each other. Egad, 
Let me bust thee. <laughs> Prithee, no more. You would not, sure, be absent in such another encounter were it me own time of need. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, your most humble servant. Brave Sir Dormant. Perhaps you are a good thing at bottom. And the gentle malice of a good thing, sweet Amelia, is the barb that makes it stick. Mm -hmm.